so welcome to my Thursday. Oh my God, blessed it's Thursday. Um, I just wanted to make a little vlog for today because it's been a pretty good day actually. Um, of course, with the exception of my fifth year, they came in and they were wild today. So I figured we'd go ahead and brighten my mood with a little vlogging. There is something, oh my God. I'm looking down at my cabinet and so my kids left gummy, a uh, gummy something in ounce covered in ants. Awesome. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, is teaching high school really very similar to teaching elementary school? Because sometimes I think that. I'm like, good God, elementary school. I am, if you're an elementary school teacher, I am so sorry because that seems exhausting. Like how I feel with having to like parent my kids and like simple things like throwing trash in the garbage and like picking up our mess like it makes me bananas I'm like y'all are old enough y'all should have this by now but <laughs> they don't but uh yeah so today is Thursday it's been in pretty good week we have a five-day week and I know this is like so silly but ever since Christmas or winter holiday excuse me um we've had Let's see, we've been back since winter holiday, which is probably six weeks or so. And we pretty much had like a half day or a day off. I'm like, you know, something kind of was funky happening that week ever since then. So like we've had two five day weeks in a row. And like for some reason that just like seems like so much to me right now. I'm like, I feel like I'm drowning. But thankfully I go on vacation in not next week, but the week after. Thank you. I will, I'm thinking about doing a travel vlog, so if that's something you're super interested, definitely like or comment down below and tell me that's something you would love to see. If not, I'm just going to relax. But that is kind of that. Let me think, what have we been doing today? My freshman, we have been taking air, ooh, we're in our air unit, and if you teach in the state of Florida environmental science, then you know like the curriculum maps they lay out air pollution for two whole weeks well lazy me it started like last week friday for me and i didn't realize but the chapter is literally like nine pages of my textbook and that's it so i had our, i would normally do like three pages worth of textbook notes a day um, so by the time like tuesday rolled around i saw it a week and a half left it was like I've done notes for like almost the entire thing. So I've been trying to like slow it way down. Um, so today we did the second half of our acid rain notes and we set up a little lab, which I'm so excited for. Fingers crossed it works. And the whole goal of it is you take like a flash card with petroleum jelly or Vaseline smeared across the card and then you tape it up somewhere. And the goal is like the petroleum jelly or Vaseline, it like collects the pollutants that are in the air around it. So I gave all my kids, let me see if you can see that new no. oh there's a sticky note I gave them all these tiny little sticky notes and I had them put their initials on it and smear Vaseline and then they taped it up wherever they wanted and so you can see there's oh let's see if I can make my hand match that area see those little dots hanging from the ceiling those are more little sticky notes the kids have put up so I'm excited they say that leave it up for 24 hours and then you can use like a magnifying glass or a microscope to like look at them and see all the particulates so I told the kids um grab a sticky note we put our Vaseline on it and I said tape it up wherever you think there's the most air pollutants so we're gonna look at it tomorrow and hopefully it works my fingers are crossed so that's what we did we did our acid rain notes round two and then we set up little air pollutant catchers particulate catchers in the room and we're gonna do like an analysis tomorrow um first semester of like my first year I did not feel confident at all with doing labs especially with my freshmen they were you know just learning how to be in high school and now that they've kind of mastered it and gotten it down I'm much more comfortable doing labs so that's what we're doing bio we are just starting our meiosis unit and uh it's just like an area that's not my fave to be honest uh i've already mixed up like somatic and gamet gametic cells and i'm gonna have to find some cool activities our nine weeks ends at the end of next week so they'll have like a mitosis meiosis test my kids took a pretty hard mitosis quiz to be honest um Wednesday and the average quiz grade was a 70 so I was like clearly it wasn't that bad and starting the meiosis portion of the unit so 
We'll see how that goes. And then we'll take our meiosis test at the end of next week on Friday because our nine weeks ends on Friday. So I know it's kind of like risky to do a test last Friday of the nine weeks, but also like that's kind of when my meiosis unit would be over. The air unit, I'm gonna have to drag it out a whole nother week. I'm like, so I think for next week, we're gonna do like an escape room and maybe another lab and a Kahoot day and then the test. So my kids should nail that. Um, luckily, I only have maybe six kids failing altogether. So I'm hoping that sticks up. But other than that, that's kind of it. I've had some high school kid drama. We're getting to like that time of the year where the kids are kind of sick of being at school. Teachers are kind of feeling angsty and so um, the drama has started hard. But I wanted to show you guys this. So this is, this is one of my succulents that I got at, um, you know, I have no idea where I got this guy. One of my succulents that I got at like Walmart or something. And the thing about succulents is like pieces of, uh, pieces of them like break off and start rooting. And look, a little baby one took root. I have a kid in my class in my fifth period who kind of, um, he struggles integrating himself to like regular, uh, he, I don't know how I want to put this. He's a good kid but he's currently probably not making the best friend choices. And so for him, like he likes to come into my room every day, doesn't really do the work, but he likes to water the plants. Um, and so it's kind of like, you win some, you lose some. I would much rather him come in here with like some sense of purpose than no sense of purpose whatsoever. Ooh, let me show you guys after the day. I'm wearing my silver hoops from Amazon. I just bought the ones with like the highest reviews. Honestly, they're fine. Came from China. It is what it is. My hair's in a little bun. And if you know me, you know my hair's like this short. It's so like the back is like this janky bobby pin situation. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. But thank you to George. That's my boyfriend's mother's husband. He bought, he saw one of my vlogs and he bought me bobby pins. And so they have been a huge lifesaver today. My kids are like, Miss Healy, how'd you get your hair up there? Bobby pins. I'm wearing my just like a plain white tee from Old Navy. I wear white tees and sweat so much that like Old Navy's perfect because they're quality and I didn't break the bank to buy it. So when it gets yellow pit stains, get a new one. My uh, genuine turquoise necklace that my boyfriend got me for Christmas from the rock shop in St. Pete. Um, it doesn't really go with my outfit, so it's kind of tucked away. And then I'm wearing this like max, ooh. And then I'm wearing this maxi skirt. It's like really loose and flowy and just kind of like bringing me life, but it's high-waisted and I love it. The only thing is it has this like little flap here. So I kind of have to be careful like moving around because it'll go like the flap cuts across. So you have to be whew, extra careful. But I will see you guys after school. I have a meeting. I'm doing this. You know what? I'll describe it after school. <gasps> So yeah, the day is officially over, so I just wanted to show you guys um, the posters that my kids have been making. I, f I call them posters, but they're really just like a piece of printer paper where the kids, um, I'll put something on the board very specifically. Like I'll make my own and I'll design it exactly how I want theirs to look. And then they just copy it down and they have to use colors and maybe add pictures and, or descriptions and stuff like that. And I found that's like a little artsy outlet for them and they also don't hate it like it's better than textbook work and they're still like getting the concepts so i love that and that's what's going on those boards so i'll put in a clip of that but i love it because like just putting it up on their little front board like motivates them to make their poster look better which for high schoolers i honestly didn't think they would care to do but they did excuse me but they did so that was super exciting um my enviro kids put up all their little sticky notes there are like um pieces of whatchamacallit Ooh, flashcard that's the word i'm looking for they put their little flashcards in and they covered it with vaseline and their initials and we're gonna leave them up for 24 hours and so hopefully fingers crossed that they're covered with like well should i say fingers crossed Ooh, i don't know but Fingers crossed for the sake of the kids that tomorrow morning they're covered in pollutants so, and so the kids can like see air pollution in the classroom. Fingers uncrossed because I hope there's no pollution in my classroom, but based on how my sinuses act in this room, I guarantee you there's a lot. Um, that being said, I'm about to scoot over to a meeting. I'm a part of this like optional paid opportunity where teachers get to interact with um, 
a senior teacher who understands ESO wells. See, this is why I need the program. It basically, English second learners, so kids who didn't speak English, they go to these programs. So I'm gonna go do a meeting for that. Um, the University of Florida is hosting that down here. So I don't know, so far it hasn't been that helpful, but I think it's just gonna get better and better because now we're gonna start working with like a specific teacher and not just like big group meetings. Um, so I'm gonna go run and do that meeting, but that's kind of it. Okay guys, I am home, thankfully. Um, the meeting was uh, just like a meeting's always are. It was, you know, um, could have been an email, but it is what it is. Um, at least I'm getting time to bond with my teachers, but I miss my bear bear. I miss my bear bear. He's like, don't care about you, mom. Heartless. But um, that's kind of all. I will see you guys whenever I see y'all. But like I said, the meeting definitely, oh, he gone. Um, like I said, that meeting definitely could have been an email, but I'm just gonna take tonight, enjoy the night, clean up my kitchen, which is a mess, and take my little dog on a walk and just enjoy my time. But I will see you guys when I see you, um, which is in Lord knows when. I will see y'all later. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, do what you gotta do, join the fam at the Blissful Biologist. Peace.